crazy facts about dictators. Shortly before Saddam Hussein's birth, his father and brother passed away, which sent Saddam's mother into a spiraling depression. A depression that led her to unsuccessfully attempt to abort her unborn child, as well as failing in an attempt to take her own life. After Saddam's birth, his mother gave Saddam away for the first few years of his life, and he returned to his mother's care at around three years old. In 2001, after a rise in HIV and AIDS in Swaziland amongst girls aged between 15 and 19, the royal dictator, Maswate III, created a law prohibiting men from having relations with teenage girls for the next five years. However, after he broke his own law and married a 17-year-old girl, making her his 11th wife, he was forced to pay for the crime, which was a fee of one cow. Then in 2005, he ended the law a year early so he could marry his 12th wife, who was a finalist in the Miss Teen Swaziland competition. Colonel Gaddafi was once quoted as saying, all the great prophets of modern times have come from the desert, Muhammad, Jesus, and myself crazy facts about dictators. According to tapes found in Saddam Hussein's audio archive, which was seized by US forces in 2003, during the first Gulf War, Saddam Hussein gave orders to launch missiles at Israel if Iraq failed in the war. One of the targets was a university, which was supposedly included in the list due to a teacher speaking ill of Hussein. Joseph Stalin's reckless son Vasily once attempted to impress a girl by drunkenly piloting a plane and ended up crash landing in a haystack. According to the woman, the reason for the crash landing was that Vasily and his pals decided to drink the spirit that was intended to de-ice the wings and the plane couldn't keep its height. According to an amnesty report that included the witness statements of Ugandan exiles, under Idi Amin's regime, one mode of executing prisoners was to line them up under gunpoint and give one of the prisoners a hammer and order them to beat another prisoner to death. He in turn would be killed by another prisoner and so forth until all the prisoners were dead. The last would be shot by a prison guard. Crazy facts about dictators. During World War II, Joseph Stalin received information that his teenage daughter Svetlana was dating the middle-aged screenwriter Alexei Kapler, and after he was presented with transcripts of the pair's phone conversations, he confronted his daughter with the transcripts and read them aloud to her before slapping her in the face. Shouting to Svetlana's nurse, just think how low she sunk, such a war going on and she's too busy f***ing. Kapler was arrested and sentenced to five years in the Vakuta labor camps for anti-Soviet opinions. After serving his sentence, he was then re-arrested and sentenced to a further five years in a mine. According to files that were released under the Freedom of Information Act, in 1977, after the dictator of Uganda, Idi Amin, was banned from a Commonwealth conference in Scotland, the British army were put on standby in Scottish airports due to the fears of British intelligence that Amin would attempt to arrive in Scotland with 250 bodyguards and storm his way into the conference. Ni Win, the dictator of Burma, was known to to frequently take the advice of fortune tellers. He once shot a reflection of himself in a mirror after being told that it would help him to avoid death. Crazy facts about dictators. According to Radio Free Asia, Kim Jong-un recently banned his citizens from taking their own lives, saying that it was an act of treason against socialism. Kim reportedly stated that local government officials would be held accountable for failing to stop citizens committing the crime. This comes after the South Korean National Intelligence Service estimated that citizens taking their own lives had risen by 40% from the previous year. Islam Karimov, the late dictator of Uzbekistan, was criticized by many for his censoring of the media and torture of political opponents. He was also frequently accused of holding fake elections to ensure his continued leadership of the country. In one election in the year 2000, he gained 90% of the votes, which was unsurprising considering that his opponent publicly announced that he had in fact voted for Karimov in the election. In 1997, after a political opponent of the dictator of Equatorial Guinea, Teodoro Obiang Ngama, was granted asylum by Spain, Obiang responded in anger by changing the national language of his country from Spanish to French. Crazy facts about dictators. In March 1982, during a cabinet meeting, Saddam Hussein called his Minister of Health, Riyad Ibrahim, into a separate room to discuss a private matter. Saddam then shot and killed Riyad and returned to the meeting as if nothing had happened. The reason for Saddam's brutality, according to the biographer Syed K. Abarish, was that Riyad had supplied out-of-date penicillin acquired from the UK that had resulted in the deaths of multiple Iraqi soldiers. On the 3rd of February 1977, Mengistu Haile Mariam, the dictator of Ethiopia, accused fellow politician Teferi Banti of organizing a coup against him. Banti plus seven other individuals were arrested and executed. After their deaths, Haile Mariam announced in a speech, our enemies were preparing us for lunch, but we ate them for breakfast. Kim Jong-un recently offered his full support and solidarity to Russia in a message to Vladimir Putin, stating that the North Korean people gave their full support and solidarity to the Russian people in their all-out struggle for implementing the sacred cause to preserve the sovereign right of their country against the imperialist, high-handed and arbitrary practices. The 
great Ukrainian famine known as the Holodomor took place in Soviet Ukraine between 1932 and 1933 and led to the deaths of somewhere between 3 to 5 million people in one of the worst man-made famines in history. The starving ate dogs and horses, rotten potatoes and the bark of trees to survive. Thousands even turned to cannibalism. In the words of Timothy Snyder, the good died first. Those who refused to steal died. Those who refused to kill their fellow man died. Parents who resisted cannibalism died before their children did. The origins of the famine lay in the decision by Joseph Stalin to collectivize agriculture, which meant that independent farmers and wealthier peasants known as the Kulaks had their property seized and along with other peasants were forced to work on collective farms. Anyone who resisted faced imprisonment, deportation to work camps, torture or execution. This led to a drop in production, however the Soviet Union increased their grain quotas to unrealistically high levels in a bid to fund industrialization. They also prevented communities from receiving food and forbade people from leaving Ukraine. Ukraine. However, whether the famine was an intentional genocide created by Stalin is still debated. Crazy facts about dictators. Kim Jong-un may be suffering from insomnia and alcohol and nicotine addiction, at least according to an article in The Independent that states that a South Korean spy agency has gathered intel that North Korean authorities are collecting medical information on how to cure insomnia. The article goes on to say that Kim Jong-un's weight may be as much as 300 pounds, according to an estimate conducted by an AI device. During Colonel Gaddafi's reign throughout Libya, crowds of enthusiastic supporters would arrive at public events when he appeared. They were described as spontaneous demonstrations by the government. However, according to biographers David Blundy and Andrew Lysid, Gaddafi's officials paid people to join the crowd. In one case, multiple Pakistanis working in Libya were paid the equivalent of £50 to attend a speech and cheer and shout slogans. However, as they didn't speak Arabic, they had no idea what they were shouting. The late dictator of Burundi, Pierre Nkurunziza, banned people from jogging in groups, fearing that it was being used as a cover for subversion. Some joggers who were members of opposition political groups were sentenced to jail terms from five years to life imprisonment. Crazy facts about dictators. Donald Trump has recently come under fire from multiple critics, including Republican politicians, after complimenting the dictator Kim Jong-un in a tweet after North Korea was admitted to the World Health Organization. Trump tweeted, congratulations to Kim Jong-un, misspelling the dictator's name. The tweet drew criticism from Trump's 2024 rival Ron DeSantis, who stated, I was surprised to see that. I mean, one, Kim Jong-un is a murderous dictator. In 1945, a few months before Mussolini was captured by anti-fascist partisans, he seemed resigned to his fate, describing himself during an interview as little more than a corpse. A few months later, he, along with his mistress and a handful of others, were shot and taken to Milan, where they were publicly hung upside down from a girder. In his attempts to become president for life, the voodoo dictator of Haiti, Francois Duvalier, announced a referendum on the 14th of June 1964. One of his campaign posters depicted Christ standing behind Duvalier with his hands on Duvalier's shoulders and read, I have chosen him. He won the referendum by a percentage of 99.89%. Crazy facts about history's most evil rulers. Genghis Khan was an eco-warrior. After Genghis and the Mongols killed 40 million people, the areas in which those people lived and farmed became unoccupied and forests regrew. Returning forests pulled 700 million tons of human-generated carbon out of the atmosphere that led to the earth cooling. In a psychotic fit of rage, Ivan the Terrible beat his pregnant daughter-in-law for wearing immodest clothing, which may have caused her to miscarry her child. When confronted by his son, a fight ensued, in which Ivan took his son's life by striking him on the head. When Soviet scientists exhumed the remains of the brutal ruler Tamerlane, who caused the deaths of 17 million people, it has been alleged that the tomb was inscribed with the words, when I rise from the dead, the world shall tremble. Whomsoever opens my tomb shall unleash an invader more terrible than I. Three days later, Hitler invaded the Soviet Union. After the scientists examined Tamerlane's body, in 1942 he was reburied with traditional Islamic ritual. Shortly after, the Soviets were victorious in the Battle of Stalingrad. Crazy facts about dictators. In 1984, Saddam Hussein Hussein's psychotic son Uday graduated from the College of Engineering at the University of Baghdad with a grade in the top 98 percentile, which was surprising given, as the journalist Syed K. Abarish suggested, Uday was too mentally under-equipped to receive such a grade. However, a possible reason that Uday received such a grade may have been due to the fact that any tutor that did not give Uday preferable treatment or the highest grade possible was mercilessly tortured and then fired from the university. When the Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev visited China in 1958, after learning that Khrushchev Khrushchev could not swim, Chairman Mao decided to hold a meeting in his swimming pool with the intention of embarrassing the Soviet Premier as payback for his perceived disrespect from the Soviets when he visited Moscow in 1949. According to the author Pierre Janssen, who married the daughter of the dictator of Zaire, Mobutu, Mobutu spent lavishly on his daughter's wedding ceremony, which included three orchestras, a $65,000 wedding cake, a $70,000 wedding gown, and $3 million worth of jewelry. 
In 2011, Libya had the highest living standard in Africa and the Libyan Central Bank was 100% state-owned. Colonel Gaddafi had been advocating for the creation of a new pan-African currency that would rival the dollar and the euro and even called upon some African nations to join in the alliance. In March 2011, a UN resolution allowed a multi-nation coalition led by NATO to commence a military intervention in Libya. The official reason for the invasion was the threat posed to civilian life during the Libyan civil war and Gaddafi's violent crackdown against protesters. However, critics have argued that Western powers had economic and political interest in ensuring a favourable outcome in Libya. For example, an email sent to Hillary Clinton by unofficial advisor Sidney Blumenthal revealed by WikiLeaks stated that the reason Nicolas Sarkozy had involved France in attacking Libya was in fear of Gaddafi providing Francophone African countries with an alternative to the franc, as well as, amongst other reasons, a desire to gain a greater share of Libyan oil production.